all, welcome to Saka Systems and Services. We wish you a very happy learning. Today, we will deep dive into InfoType 0003, that is payroll status. A big thank you for tuning in. Let's get started. InfoType 0003 is a very crucial InfoType. It gets created automatically by system and cannot be deleted. Time constraint for this InfoType is a let's discuss about earliest personal retro accounting date. This date corresponds closely to the control record's earliest retro accounting period. However, the control record setting applies universally to all employees within a payroll area, whereas the date in IT0003 is specific to an individual employee. For instance, if the control record date is set to the 1st of January 2015, and we want to establish the earliest retro accounting date for a particular employee as the 1st of July 2015, we can utilize the earliest personal retro accounting date field to specify this date. It's important to emphasize that the date in this field should be in the future concerning the control record date, not preceding it. Let us discuss about run payroll up to. This setting is intended to specifically select a withdrawn employee for payroll processing. As previously discussed, the payroll process excludes withdrawn and inactive employees. The system automatically includes only active and retired employees in the payroll program. However, if there is a need to process bonus payments or execute full and final settlements for a withdrawn employee, it's crucial to maintain this field. By doing so, the payroll program will be configured to include the withdrawn employee for these special payments. Let's understand the do not account after field behavior. This field operates in the opposite manner to the one described earlier. When configured, it allows us to prevent an active employee from being selected for payroll processing. For example, if we set a date such as the 1st of January 2015 in this field, the system will exclude this employee from payroll processing, even if their status is active. Let's understand the personal number locked field. There is no specific date criterion for this field. Whenever it is checked, the employee will be excluded from payroll processing. Conversely, when unchecked, the payroll processing will resume. In contrast, with the do not account after field, we can specify a future date. The locked personal numbers will be displayed in the locked personal numbers option within the control record. The check marks for field personal number locked located on the left side can be utilized by end users based on their requirements. In other words, these fields will be manually maintained as needed. Accounted to field. This field indicates the last date for which the employee received payment. For example, if the date in this field is the 30th of November 2023, it means the employee was paid up until November 30th. It's important to note that these fields require manual maintenance. Let's explore the earliest master data change field. To grasp the significance of the earliest master data change field, it's essential to familiarize ourselves with the concept of retro, retroactive processing. Retro refers to reprocessing payroll for a period for which payroll has already been processed. Example, imagine there's a record in InfoType 0008, Basic Pay, showing $1,000 effective from the 1st of January 2015. After running payroll for the first three periods, the end user realizes that the amount paid was incorrect. It was supposed to be $1,200. The user updates the IT0008 record to $1,200, effective from the 1st of January 2015. Consequently, the system updates the earliest master data change field with the date the 1st of January 2015. This indicates that the system needs to reprocess the payroll from January and pay the $600 difference to the employee. In April, the regular salary is $1,200 and the difference amount from the previous periods is $600. Total salary in April month equals $1,200 plus $600 equals $1,800. This process ensures that payroll corrections are accurately reflected, maintaining precision in compensation calculations. Master Data Change Bonus Imagine a scenario where a $2,000 bonus was initially paid to the employee, but retrospectively, it has been adjusted to $2,400. In such cases, the field called Master Data Change Bonus will be updated. 
रेग्युलर सैलरी इन्फोटाइप इन्फोटाइप जीरो 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 एट इन्फोटाइप जीरो जीरो वन फोर इन्फोटाइप जीरो जीरो वन फाइव इन्फोटाइप ट्वेंटी टेन बोनस सैलरी इन्फोटाइप इन्फोटाइप ओ टू सिक्स सेवन वेन पेरोल इज प्रोसेस्ड फॉर वन थाउजेंड डॉलर्स एम्प्लॉइज एंड फाइव एम्प्लॉइज एनकाउंटर एरर्स द सिस्टम विल ऑटोमेटिकली मार्क द पेरोल करेक्शन चेक मार्क फॉर दोज फाइव एम्प्लॉइज विद अनसक्सेसफुल पेरोल रिजल्ट दीज एम्प्लॉइज कैन ऑल्सो बी आइडेंटिफाइड इन द कंट्रोल रेकॉर्ड अंडर द इनकरेक्ट पर्सनल नंबर्स लिस्ट ऑप्शन देर इज अ फीचर नोन एज मैच को डब्ल्यू इन द पेरोल प्रोग्राम enabling us to run the payroll program exclusively for these 5 employees who encountered errors rather than rerunning payroll for all 1000 employees the payroll correction check mark will be managed by the system not by the user 1 earliest personal retro accounting date similar to the payrolls earliest personal retro accounting date this field is specific to time management represents the earliest permissible date for changing time related data absences attendances overtime for a particular employee two pdc recalculation resembling the earliest md change field in payroll when retrospective changes occur in time management data records with past dates the system updates this date subsequently it reprocesses the time evaluation from that specific period noteworthy time evaluation runs daily whereas payroll runs for designated periods monthly weekly semi monthly 3 pdc error indicator in a scenario where time evaluation is executed for 1000 employees and errors occur for 5 employees this field is automatically checked by the system user managed field 1 is adjustable based on user requirements system managed fields 2 and 3 are automatically maintained by the system thank you for joining us today if you found this exploration into info type 0003 that is payroll status intriguing don't forget to like share and subscribe for more insights until next time happy exploring